Hey everyone, today I wanted to do another Hoya haul. The first one is a Hoya Williniana variegata. From the Hoyas I've seen, I think this one must have the most beautiful variegation. Some of the leaves can be completely variegated, which I think is really pretty. And when they get sun stressed, it has this random sun stress to it that's pink. And here you can see the random variegation as well, which I really appreciate. Here are some of the leaves that have more green in them and the sun stress, and it's just absolutely beautiful. I'm not sure if this is normal, but some of the leaves are still a little bit wrinkled, even though I watered the plant and the soil is still moist. So I tried to pin down a piece of the stem that has an aerial root. So hopefully that will let the aerial root grow back into the soil and hopefully absorb more moisture. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully it starts growing. And if not, I might have to troubleshoot it. I had another Hoya that stayed wrinkly for months. And so I finally decided to chop it up and root it into soil. But this one is more of a rare one. So I don't know if I have the guts to do that yet. So I'll just hold out on doing that for now. I really like this plant because it reminded me of my Hoya Hushkaliana variegata because the leaves are almost all completely completely whitish green and they both have accents of pink for the Hushkaliana variegata. You can see this leaf in the middle here. It starts off as pink when it grows out and this one still has a little tinge of pink but it's gotten older. There is a non-variegated version of this plant as well which gets the pretty sun stress and according to Vermont Hoyas it's endemic to Borneo, Saba, and Sarawak. The next plant is a Hoya Rebecca, and it's a cross between the Hoya Lacanosa Langawi Island and the Hoya Obscura. This is one of the Hoyas that gets that beautiful red sun stress. So when it gets really high intensity sunlight, it will turn red. You can see here that they are starting to turn a little bit red. The flowers are really cute poof balls, similar to the Hoya Obscura, as well as the Hoya Sunrise. The next plant is a Hoya Sunrise, which also gets the red leaves in bright sun when it gets sun stress. This one currently doesn't have the sun stress. Some of the leaves are starting to get a little bit red because I put it in a south facing window. But when it does get really red, it's really, really pretty. Like I mentioned before, the Hoya Sunrise flowers are similar to the Hoya Rebecca as well as the Obscura, but each of them have their different leaf shapes and the sun stress shows differently for them, so they all three can be appreciated in their own ways. The next plant is a Hoya Deiki, and it has this really pretty, almost heart-shaped leaf, similar to the Hoya Carii, but it's not as pronounced, and it has this really beautiful dark veination on it and this one in particular has some splashiness to it as well. It originates from Sumatra which is an island in Indonesia. Next up is the Hoya sigillatus which has these really pretty trailing long splashy leaves and it originates from Borneo. The flowers are pretty as well. They look more geometric than other flowers I've seen like a hexagon and they're this really pretty orangey pale color. I heard that this plant might be a little harder to keep than other Hoyas because the soil has to be at the right moisture level. So hopefully this one can thrive in my care. Next is a Hoya manipurensis, which has these cute little leaves that look like a mermaid's tail. The flowers wouldn't be on the top of the list for the most beautiful and people say they actually look more like a Deschidia flower, even though it is classified as a Hoya. The next one is a Hoya Thomsonia splash. It has this one leaf that's super splashy, and this is one of the plants that is really fuzzy and hairy, so it's super soft if you feel it. The other leaves don't have as much splash, so I wonder if it needs more sunlight if that makes a difference or not. So I just put it in a south facing window for now. The little baby leaf is extra fuzzy. There's a non splashy version of this plant and I think that one has pink flowers, but this one has white flowers. 
All right, I hope you enjoyed looking at these new Hoyas that I got. If you liked it, feel free to like and subscribe if you want to see more videos. Thanks for watching.